Inside Hyde Park's e &O kitchen. We want to be someone somewhere that they can relax and feel welcome. A door is opening. And, and our guests have been hyper loyal and hyper uh, hungry, whether or not, for whether that be for just a night out on the town, away from the four walls of their house, or, uh, you know, hungry for just a, a good meal. You know, we, uh, we're really grateful that the curfew's been lifted. Tony Castelli, marketing director for Earth and Ocean Restaurant Group. That confusion is poison. So when people are confused whether they can go out or can't go out, mask, no mask, it, it makes them just say, uh, why bother? I'll just stay home. So for a curfew to be lifted, we don't really have to answer those questions. Rolling out of the curfew means more opportunities to stay afloat. From a dollars and cents perspective, it's usually the guests that are here a little bit later that spend a little more time and spend a little bit more money. For a business that, that you know, cuts their teeth after 10 o'clock, it's just a big struggle for us. At Over the Rhine's The Drinkery, Justin Cole says the news comes with hurdles. It was exciting at first, and then it was like, oh man, we're we're back to full hours now, and we're we have a lot of people we need to hire back, and some people aren't able to come back. Another hurdle, is there an appetite for late night bars and restaurants? Cole is hopeful, but knows building consumer habits takes time. And he says no matter what time of the day or night, they'll be following CDC guidelines to make sure you stay safe. I think Cincinnati does a great job of rallying around their city and, and supporting uh, local business. So we covered Hyde Park. Now we covered over the Rhine and here we are at the banks. We're up a relatively calm night, but keep in mind it is a Thursday. Valentine's Day weekend is ahead and those bar owners say they are grateful for every hour that they will be able to have moving forward. They say that those later hours are their most profitable at night. Now we should note that inside capacity that those numbers there are still the same as what it once was. It is simply just those hours uh, have been done away with for the curfew here in Ohio. For now, reporting live at the banks, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.